Yo, what is up? My name is Jack, and I hope you're having a great day. Welcome to the Polygon Cafe, the coolest 3D platform on the internet. This video is going to be a substance designer tutorial where I'll be creating a stylized hallway door material. Feel free to slow the video down using the YouTube settings icon if you want to see exactly which settings I'm using for the nodes. So let's get started. I started off by using some shape nodes to create wooden trim at the bottom and middle of the wall. I used the levels nodes to create indents in the trim. Here I was just playing around trying to create a wallpaper texture and ended up creating this pretty creepy pattern. So I used the waves shape, then used a swirl grayscale node to see what it would look like. I then plugged in a square shape into another swirl grayscale node and blended both of these shapes together by subtracting the square from the waves shape which created this. I then used the transform node to duplicate and flip the shape. I then plugged this into a tile sampler and played around with the scale, rotation and position settings to create this weird oozing sort of pattern. I then began creating the door frame by again using square shapes and transform nodes to get a rectangular door frame. After getting the shape of the frame, I duplicated it and created a thinner version which would create an indent through the middle of the frame by using a levels node to darken it. I connected this to a blur grayscale node so that the indent wouldn't be so sharp and it would look more beveled. Here I was just adding some texture to the bottom part of the wall by using a clouds 2 node. I then thought it would be cool to add a few eyes in the wallpaper section to make it look more creepy. I did this by firstly creating the shape then plugging it into a new tile sampler where I could then mask off a few so the position of the eyes looked pretty random.
I layered the door frame on top by using a height blend node, then masked off the wallpaper section by creating a rectangle shape to cover the area of the door. Using a blend node, I then subtracted this from everything we had created so far. Here I'm creating the door panels by using levels nodes to indent rectangles into our main door shape. I created a simple wooden texture for the door by blending grunge map number 5 with anisotropic noise. Here I was just masking out the areas of the wooden texture which needed to flow horizontally as opposed to vertically. So 
So to create the base colours of my materials, I like plugging in the normal map into a curvature smooth node before plugging this into a gradient map. The curvature smooth node converts the normal map to a grayscale and smooths it out a bit so we get more detail when applying colour to the material. We can also use the ambient occlusion map to do this, however sometimes with the AO map there's a bit too much detail and it can look too busy or grainy. To select the colours, I use the Pick Gradient tool found in the Gradient Editor, which allows us to extract the colours from anything we drag our mouse over. So here I'm just using some real life reference photos to get the colour from. To control which part of the texture the colour is applied to, plug the gradient map into the top input of a blend, and plug the shape or area that you want the colour to be visible into the bottom input which is the opacity mask. If you like this video and want to keep updated, subscribe to the YouTube channel and give the video a like. 
but most importantly follow our Instagram at the Polygon Cafe. We're literally the best 3D source on the internet, so make sure to stay updated. Alright, sound, I'll see you guys soon. Cheers.